Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us here on New Day. Join us with your thoughts and comments on 02021 That's 02021 My guest this morning for the news review segment, lawyer Duty Tamakleo Hayes, a member of the NDC's communication team, and also the Honorable Pius Enam Hajide is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for your time. Good morning. How was the weekend uh, for you? It was just with you. Um, what shall I say? Wonderful. I'm here today, so I'm grateful to the Almighty God. Let me use this um, opportunity quickly to also wish your our cherished viewers. The whole year they have been with us throughout, and so it's proper that uh, we wish them a Merry Christmas, a very prosperous uh, uh, New Year. It's quite been a very challenging uh, system. The economy is in very dire, you know, um, situation. But we are confident. The Vice President disagrees with you. We are very confident that by the grace of God, all will be well. I mean, if, if you have a Vice President whose office can, from January to September, spend close to 1.8 million Ghana cities on refreshment, his perspective of the economy will most definitely be different. If you have a President who can spend 62 million Ghana cities on foreign travels by dollar and we are looking at 12 million dollars from January to September just on foreign travels and a colossal amount of 68 million Ghana cities on what the presidency calls operational enhancement expenses. It's like a slash fund put at the presidency doled out. Look, within the spirit of probity, okay. so that, that's, your, that's your good morning. Yes, so I'm that's surprised you brought the vice president uh -huh. commentary. But, but, the, but the vice president disagrees with your position today, on the economy. Today, the, Yesterday people, you had the good people okay. of this country watching us, those market women, our brothers and sisters who are struggling to make ends meet, and they get to hear that the vice president alone has used 1.8 million Ghana cities on refreshment. You want to find out whether it is the Lord's Supper. Did he eat it alone? Whether it is the Lord's Supper. Anyway. But the Lord's Supper, Jesus did not. <laughs> it was with him and the 12 okay. disciples. Vice, good morning. Good morning. And, and let me Coming. congratulate you and your party yesterday. You put up a very fantastic conference. Uh, congratulations. But how's your weekend? Well, weekend has been great. Uh, 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 Johnny, ordinarily, I mean, you know me, I, I would have treated uh, my brothers into that three <laughs> comments uh, with contempt. Uh, because they are not grounded. It's a fallacy of his own imagination. Uh, but because of the caliber of person he is, it's important that I deal with it. Uh, in the first place, we are, he is coming from a stock that left power not too long ago. The presidency and the vice presidency that overspent their budgetary allocation a minimum three times over. He is coming from that stock. He lacks the moral audacity and authority to talk in the manner in which he's talking. Your, for your, the records. Your, your, your theme yesterday the says you have done better. We have. And you won't fall Absolutely. We have, we, have, we have not even spent up to the budgetary allocation to the presidency. We have not. We have underspent. They overspent three times over mm. in excess of 600 million cities in one year. And so he cannot, uh, uh, he cannot have the moral authority mm to complain about a presidency that underspends the allocation. We have not even, what parliament gave to presidency to spend has not been spent. Could we not have by, spent? By right, could, number two. Could we have, could we have avoided spending no, 1.8, uh, like was, you're saying, for refreshment there was, in the vice president's there, there's office? a simplistic view of refreshment. Refreshment is not buying drinks and food for the, for the Jubilee House. Okay. Refreshment transcends that, and we are talking about Constu sometimes constitutionally mandated celebrations such as the six March. We shouldn't celebrate this March. When we celebrate this March, it is it is drawn from the budget. In looking at the auditing, in looking at the accounting, did you find a line item for six March? No, because the, all those are put under the bigger omnibus and they are labeled. Okay. And so he has a very simplistic view of what refreshments are. Again, 
We are talking about uh, the president. So, so, if I may, so, if I may, no, no, I so gave you, you no, 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 you don't, no, so you're no, not no, don't get you. No, don't worry, don't worry. There's a separate line don't, item don't worry. for national events. Don't worry, okay. don't worry. Okay. No, 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 don't please, Pio, just for so, the record. So, so, Pius, I think Pius, that, for the record. Don't, hold on, it is not hold true hold when you say that the refreshment entails national events. Hold on. So, his interjection is that the yeah, but but the the difficulty I will have with you. Is to set this precedence. No, I'm not setting uh, a precedent. Okay, has the opportunity I'm not to have make his point. I'm, I'm not setting a precedent. You go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not <laughs> what do you mean by that? Okay, well, Pius, I mean, it's not, well, it's, not a, it's not a precedence I'm setting. Okay. He's just providing further okay. information yeah. but for I'm, what I'm, he said. I'm giving him education. He may okay. not understand. Okay. okay. And I'm saying that national events, those national events themselves even have refreshments. And those are, are calculated as but, but he said there's no, a I'm separate saying, line. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. It is the allow. Okay, go ahead. He said there's a separate line for it. Yes. So, for example, Coco Dairy has a separate line. Yes. Voltec or uh, Aqua, uh, Bell Aqua, whatever it is, has a separate line. Yes. And, and so, I'm saying and that. so when you put when you put it together yes. again and you see this is the totality of refreshment. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying that if you there are national events. Right. Those are organized. They cost money. On the back of those national events, some there are some refreshments in, for some category mm. of events. Mm. All of those are calculated as omnibus. So the refreshment that is being spoken about is not the pitches of drinks. Mm. Again, visitors and sometimes high-level chiefs, traditional uh, traditional leaders, mm. religious leaders, uh, the heads of state visiting heads of states, and so on and so forth. They visit the presidency. They ought and have to be refreshed. And so the, some amount of money goes into so, those. So for you, the one point eight is justified. I'm saying that if you may mm. compare what the NDC spent mm. when they were in power to what the MPP is spending but now, that's why they were voted out of and power. And that is why we are spending less. And I'm saying to you that mm. they overrun their budget in excess of 600 million cities. Mm. We have not done that. Okay. Did we did haven't you, done that. When, you, budget, when, when Parliament mm. approved the allocation to the Jubilee House, to the presidency, they knew exactly what was going to go into it. But we have underspent it. We have not exhausted even the allocation to 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 to. But, but to you the know presidency. that there's, there's a difference between allocation and the actual spend. That is what uh, I'm saying to you. And that you, normally, you say you have done better. That's what I'm saying to you. Normally, governments and the history tells us that the NDC consistently overspent their allocation. They overspent sometimes in excess of 600 million cities. So so they are they, your did that. they are your standard now. They, I'm, I'm saying that they are, he's the one who is complaining. Okay. He's the one who is talking. And so I'm telling him what their, their track record has okay. been. And then I'm suggesting to you that all this spending, they were done cautiously. We seek to protect the public purse. The president's travel has yielded enormous benefits. Okay. Today, the president has, has, to, has had to travel around the country to promote the year of return concept. And we have seen the, the droves of tourists that have come into this country. We have seen the spotlight being thrown on Ghana and the benefits that, that will come to right, this right, country. Right, Simons has challenged the, the figures, some of the figures being thrown around in terms of uh, the expatriates who have come in and, and the figures that have been thrown around well, in terms for, of revenue. Well, as for challenge, uh, people are free. We are, it's a, people are free. They should tell us the basis for the challenge. I mean, the, 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 the visas we, we give, they are recorded. The arrivals at, at the airport are recorded, mm. and, and we have done exit polls to determine how much the tourist spends or, uh, averagely no. before they leave, you and say, we have done the say, mathematics. Say, okay, we, just, we, just quickly. We, we, we anticipate. Allah, we, 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 no, I mean, no, we, we anticipate that by the end uh, of this year, uh, around 1.1 million mm. tourists would have come into this country, each spending about $2,500 thereabout. Okay. You do the mathematics, and you just suppose that with the travels that went into promoting the year of return, you know that Ghana has ended up say, making a lot of, uh, uh, getting a lot of benefits you from see, it. Really? Compared to you what, I, compared I, I, to what they did. Seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. You it, see, it, I can, it's your turn now, but let, no, me, let me position the no, question. But, no, before you position the question, just 30 seconds. You are not, you are not even it's responding to anything. It's important that with my brother respond. relating to overruns, I can appreciate that he works at the Ministry of Information. He may not be privy. To the things that happen at the press. Since you have no moral hold right. On, hold on, I'm coming there. To, I'll deal to with ask where is your moral whether right? Whether we have moral right or not, I'll deal with that. You see, when you campaign on the platform of change, it does not lie in your mouth to disrespect 
the 53 percent that voted for you by making reference to the past your platform it is not, it is please, not disrespect please, to remind please, you please, please, that your track please. record was you, dangerous you, to this. You, you campaign on the platform of change yes and change we are seeing have, and we, so, have we overrun and our so, budget no so, 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 now hold up and, and he says that they no, have I'm, underspent I'm, no he, he, that's not even true that's well, why i well, said well, my well, brother appears not to be privy mm. look your brother Samuel Jinapo yes. and the Chief of Staff yes. Office yes. appear before the Finance Committee yes. of Parliament yes. to justify the budget estimate. Yes. In 2019, they actually budgeted for 30 million for presidential travel. From January to date, the president has overspent to 62 million Ghana cities. Do you know why? For the first time in the history of this country, no, no. our president, oh, hope, please, please. Alarm. Our you, you president, check him our president and George. He's peddling, he's peddling for But you can fact check him later. Oh, you are go, the information. Go, you no, and no, 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 deputy our president, no, 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 our he's president he's enjoys he's traveling he's with private jets. Fact. In fact, he's told the whole of the Caribbean on private jets. How did you Charting. come by this figure of 63? No, no, that's what I'm that His brother, Samuel Abu Jinapo, the deputy uh, uh, chief of staff, and the chief of staff's office mm. appeared before the finance committee of, of parliament, parliament right. to justify the budget for 2020. Okay. And so they had to give the actuals for 2019 mm. to justify 2020. Mm. And the figures were there. Right. He talks so about this, NDC. This, this was from a record of parliament. Yes. In fact, yes. Uh, in fact if I knew I'm this matter, I brought this document here on Friday. Mm. I'm saying to you that. We, so already, we have not already, our uh, already by September, we have no, not already, says that's allocation. not correct. No, no, did, you tell, me, did no, you tell me why? Did you tell me why you think Pius' statement that they have underspent mm -hmm. compared to you overspending three times no, but beyond if your you, budget? Hold on. If you budget, tell, tell me why you disagree with that. No, but first of all, it is not even accurate. So that why they do you agree with that? With why do you disagree with that? I disagree because I'm saying that for 2020, you budgeted that you for foreign travels you'll be spending 30 million ghana cities mm. from january to september only we are not done with october november december mm. because obviously the president will be traveling a little bit more even with that one mm. we are talking about you overrunning it by 32 million ghana cities no, no, Janice, go it's, and it's, check no, the no, record it's incorrect. okay it's incorrect okay let's 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 make progress it's, it's I, I, th I think and, that and, and finally and have, you see, he talks to, about NDC no, overrun. Yes, okay. That cannot thought, be correct. I thought it was, okay. I, I thought it was right, not my opportunity. Right, right. But did you, you didn't overrun? That's not even accurate. You see? How is that okay. not accurate? That's a, a, also no, a record no, of parliament. No, The record yeah. available mm. shows that, you know what we call government machinery. Right. Government machinery is bigger than just the office of the president, mass law, right. his commission. Mm. All of those things fall under government machinery. And so, so, so you knew when you brought out that list of 998 yes. that it was government machinery. You were saying that the president had no, but employed. even <laughs> under <laughs> us, the same government machinery. Mm. And another Danko Kufado had not created new agencies under government machinery. Mm. It's the same thing that he's inherited. And so we're doing likes for likes. And not orange with apple. And I'm saying that so you knew when you pulled out that list of 998. Oh, they, they, you started, they, 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 they brought the list. And they you started saying that the I mean, president I mean, has look, employed 1,000 people. Look, for the record, yeah. for the record, this administration has had the largest number of human resources and they have nothing to show for. Record. And again, we are going to have this agreement. Okay, sorry. So, so, you let's, so forget, let's not go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, make let's, let's, let's make progress. Let's make progress. Let's make progress. You wanted a minute. Yes. I think that it's important that when we... Uh, appear on public platforms, we should seek to put out proper and right information. Okay. The fact of the matter is this, that 2019, the allocation to the presidency has not been exhausted. We have underspent. We have not overrun. Okay. Again, hmm. the presidency had to engage in a special exercise to promote the year of return. Hmm. And the benefits of the year of return are enormous. Okay. Everybody must understand this. Let us not be people who just know the cost of things and know the value of nothing. Okay, thank you. And we cannot independently verify the claims made by these two gentlemen at this time. I'm sure that subsequently when we have the full facts and details and I've read In them fact, back I and white print and such, this time we'll be able to share with you. Record but and let, let's we'll move on. It. Yesterday, the MPP had their annual uh, delegates conference for 2019. The theme is that, well, uh, we have done better, so four more to do more. Th that was the theme. 
and they had the top brass of the MPP. The NDC were, were there as well, NDP and some other political parties were there. For the first time I heard LPG uh, and I, I almost thought it was my guys at home. But Pius, a key question that I raised this morning with Bella was that, look, you did better than the N NDC. You brought rubbish beans to the place. You had a very beautiful conference. You brought Zoom Lion there. In spite of the presence of the rubbish beans, people, the top brass of your party, delegates, party chairman, constituency, blah, 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 police station, whatever it is, they still found cause to litter. And I'm saying, for a government that says, we want to make Accra the cleanest in four years, and you have done three years, and we still have filled around us, you should be the key architects and the key proponents of this whole agenda of a clean city so that from your small corner, you could have shown us the example that it is possible. But from what we saw yesterday, I have my doubts. Do you have doubts too? Well, again, I mean, Johnny, I think that you're right. Um, I mean, we do almost everything better than the NDC. So uh, as to whether we did it better than the NDC or not, is not an issue. Uh, I have to, I, I'm, I I'm speaking on the matter of sanitation. Don't, don't manufacture yeah, but, my consent. No, but, I mean, we, thank uh, you. Don't, don't manufacture my consent. I that. I mean, in a lot of things. I am saying, we set I am comparing two conferences held at the same venue. That's what I'm saying. That. And I'm saying that you brought. I agree with you. No, later no, beings. They no, didn't break they it. Didn't. So on that score, yes. you did better than them. Correct. Uh -huh. But don't that's say what, that. No, that's I said you are, you are doing everything. No, I didn't say that. Don't put me in harm's way. I'm just saying that. Let's discuss what we should have done or we shouldn't have done yeah. as an MPP. Right. Because if you sought to compare us to the NDC, then the NPP will score high marks, even though there still may be work to do. Mm. And then that will drive people into getting complacent. Okay. And that is why I'm saying that. Let's set the NDC aside. Mm. They cannot be our standard. Mm. They score very low marks on almost everything. Uh, in organizing this program, it is my understanding that the organizers took time to factor sanitation mm. as a major concern. Right. And they paid attention to it. Mm. And they provided uh, dustbins. Mm. They also uh, engaged uh, the Zoom Lion mm. to assist uh, in a timely collection, real time, right. of the rubbish. Mm. And, and I think that we should applaud the organizers for that. Mm. What I think we should do is to encourage everybody Ghanaians, especially members of our party, mm. who the people of Ghana look up to, mm. to salvage this country mm. and, and to promote what is right. We are the standard bearers that the people look up to. But we you, should but set, you littered we should when, set when, you had, when you had litter beans, you put yes. the litter on the floor yes. instead of dropping them in a bin. That, Why? That, that ex exactly. I mean, that one, it is, it is not something that we can hold the corporate MPP responsible for. This is an attitudinal problem. The individuals and, make up the corporate party. Yeah, but I'm saying that the corporate party has the system, had the system mm. to deal with rubbish. Unfortunately, individual attributes and attitudes uh, that people have acquired over time, mm. and it will take time for us to uh, change these attitudes of persons. But, but these and, were not and, just and, anybody. These were the, key leaders of the party at not, various not, stages. Yes. And, and but you they expect were, that they will take knowledge and go and share were, it down there. I agree with you. I'm not justifying it. I'm saying that I was wrong for anybody. I mean, and we have seen this happen across the board. I've, I've gone to churches and I've seen after programs, there's a lot of litter around. I've gone to uh, wedding events. I think that it is an attitudinal challenge that we have as a people. Mm. And especially when the institutional arrangements have been done, mm. for instance, bringing in uh, the dustbins and so on and mm. so forth, mm. the least we can do is to just walk a few steps and drop the litter where it has to be dropped. You mm. cannot, uh, we cannot en encourage a situation where you drink water or eat your food and, uh, I mean, you just drop. Uh, uh, the litter the under mm -hmm. under the chair and and move and on. it was all over it, it, it is very wrong but i was monitoring your your network mm -hmm. this morning and i think that uh, you must be commended for bringing it up mm -hmm. immediately i saw what you were doing i made contact with organizers and i can report to you if your cameras can go to the the dome and the trade fair mm -hmm. center as i speak mm -hmm. there are people there are party officers on the ground with zoom lion working to clean the place up
in recognition that we uh, are a government that is interested in the, the cleanliness mm. uh, of Accra but, but and the, the cleanliness but the people, of, the of, people, of Ghana. So, so my, my question, and this will be my final one to you, the party has a philosophy that, look, we want to keep Ghana clean. We want to make it clean and the cleanliness in Africa. But the party assigns, they don't seem, from what I saw yesterday, they don't seem to be on the same page with the party. How do we bridge the gap? Well, I think that what we are doing uh, is part of it, the continued education. Mm. We, and I'm saying to you that uh, this must transcend political parties. Right. To the extent that the parties provide for it institutionally, it must transcend, the discussion must transcend political parties. Okay. And it is a Ghanaian attitude, right. regrettably, it's a Ghanaian atti attribute. Mm -hmm. And we must discuss it as Ghanaians. Okay. Because it happens in our churches, it happens uh, almost everywhere. Okay, These things happen. We must continue to educate the people of Ghana. That look, you you are in Trotro or you are in your taxi. You buy yogurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see after taking it, the next thing you want to see, I mean, is that people drop these things somewhere proper, but they just mm -hmm. throw it about. It is a culture and uh, and an attitude okay. that we have to all confront mm -hmm. and deal with. It's going to take time. It's going to take some serious education. Mm -hmm. But I I have to first of all I agree that the NPP. Uh, we, those who belong to the party, we must lead from the front and set the examples. Okay. That part, uh, you, you, for you me. See, okay. So, Brenda, I, I, Brenda, show, show us a bit of the of the photos from yesterday, visuals from yesterday, the rubbish and all of that, so Ghanaians can get the perspective we're putting. But Edigi, yes. stepping for me. Yes. You see, I listened to you make the claim <laughs> that oh, the NDC, A, B, C, D. Let me just set the record straight because I was working with the organizers of our last national conference. What we did was that we went to the Ghana Trade Fair Authority. Okay. And then the operators of the Fantasy Dome. Mm. And then we asked them, in keeping the place clean, how much is it going to cost right. us? Okay. Then they provided mm. us a bill that they will provide workmen mm. to ensure that as the program goes on, they will be cleaning up the place. Right. So we paid trade fair. Okay. We paid the operators mm -hmm. and managers of the fantasy door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we had the responsibility of providing mobile toiletries, right. you know, mm -hmm. which we did. Now, when we realized that, look, having paid these monies, the people who were supposed to clean up the place were not doing. We quickly had to bring Zoom Lion at our further expense, okay. which we did. So <laughs> let the record be there. And like but, you it, but it doesn't, on, hold on, but hold it doesn't negate no, hold the on. fact. No, hold it on. doesn't no. negate so, the fact. No, I'm just trying to let you know I, 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 that I in every organization, I what you do I appreciate, is that I appreciate you want your, to apportion responsibility. I appreciate the, so the we assigning of responsibility. gave that responsibility and paid for it. But I'm saying that you paid for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that on the face value, mm -hmm. If I was at your Congress sure. and I was at the MPP conference, no, no, I, I, I'm I, I, saying you know. that I didn't see later beans there. That's at your why, conference. no, that's why. I told so you. now you're explaining but, to but me that I you paid be, for it. We paid for, now, and in fact, that was one of the major issues we had with even the managers of the facilities. Right. I mean, this is an internal matter, okay, so I don't right. want to. Okay. But even more importantly, the bottom line, like you pointed out, and from the uh, the, 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 the video, the <clears throat> clips, is that at the end of the day, regardless of what you say with the litter bins, the place was still littered. I think that is a greater question of attitude, which we must collectively <coughs> resolve. Mm. And I always <coughs> maintain, look, growing up in our villages, if you don't know, and then what we used to call tankers, right. they come and charge your parents, you will be held responsible. And so because of that, mm. you were always very conscious whatever you do relative to the environment and how you keep it clean. And so you could see that at least uh, as we progress even more as a nation, mm. things rather are deteriorating okay. relative to our relationship with but, the But why is that? I mean, it's, it's, it's a greater question of <coughs> attitudes, mm. responsibilities. And like I pointed out, often time, because people know I am paying you mm -hmm. to do this work. There is a little bit, you need to come and take it. Right. So the person will come and dump it there with the expectation that you will come and you take come it. And, it. and then the service provider mm -hmm. will also not do it. And that is why today, 
Even while the presidency, Accra will be the cleanest city in the whole of Africa. We are still grappling with filth. I'm sure that the president may have a genuine reason right. why he made that bold declaration. Mm -hmm. But the people who are supposed to do it may have a different attitude towards to, you know, when you compare that to the body language of the president. And that is why Accra is still filthy. Well, is it? And I'll ask you the same question I asked Pius, that look, the assignments of the party that says we will keep Accra the cleanest in Africa in four years. We have done three years. Mm -hmm. And if the littering we saw is anything to go by, they don't seem to think along the same line with the president. No, but you see, I... And, and, I, that, I, and, that's, and that's, that's for me, see, it's this, a big this concern. This is a two-day event. And sometimes, I remember the last time when we did ours, and which we were monitoring. Look, sometimes when you give the takeaway right. pack, and they are supposed to go out in a dedicated place and eat, the person will say he will sit right there and do the eating. You know, you know why I would disagree with this one? Because yesterday mm. at the MPP conference, mm. they had set aside the round pavilion mm. where everybody would go and eat. Yes. And even the president in the speech says he will be brief so that everybody can go out and have lunch. So it, the question, of, be the that question that of eating in there mm -hmm. mustn't, mustn't no, arise. No, that's, but, it has but never it been arise. you were supposed to go and eat. Mm. But you notice that even from the video clip, right. you notice that the bulk of the people ended up eating right in the fantasy dome. Okay, join us. Thoughts and comments. 020 Yesterday, the majority leader uh, in Parliament, Osei Chimes Abosu, made a categorical statement at the conference. He said that, well, the NDC doesn't want the register changed because if we compile a new register, there's no way they can win an election in this country. Uh, Pius, is, this, is there any truth to, to what your majority leader has said, which is why the NDC well, is, Johnny, is trying to draw all of, all of you back? Johnny, my, my attitude towards uh, the register matter, mm. and, and I'd rather deal with some other germane points that were raised at the, at the conference yesterday, is that there's a body constitutionally mandated to run elections in this country. Right. Uh, that's the Electoral Commission. They can, and from time to time, do take advice and suggestion from stakeholders and interest groups. The point must be made forcefully that it is not the political parties that run our elections in this country. Right. Yes, they are stakeholders, but the body that has the mandate to run the EC is the is a, is a Electoral Commission. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the call to have a new register or not will be theirs to make at the end of the day. They may consult and so on and so forth. Uh, but it is not for the MPP to insist that we want a new register, which the MPP will not do, is not doing, mm. and it is not for the NDC to insist that, no, we cannot have a new register. Okay, so... Uh, regrettably, mm. I find the NDC positioning as such. I think it is wrong. If they think that they have any uh, strong uh, uh, advocacy, if they have any uh, legitimate reasoning, I think they can, uh, they can lobby that. The, the, electoral commission, that. the Electoral Commission works in concert with the political parties. The Electoral Commission recently has said that Look, the register we have is credible, and which is why this is what they use for the creation of the 16 new regions, also for the uh, recently held local level elections. If you say the register is credible, how then do you want to compile a new one? Anybody would ask that question, don't you think? No, I'm saying that. I'm saying that the Electoral Commission has given a ton of reasons why they have or they want to compile a new register. And I, do not, and I do not speak for the Electoral Commission. It's not my business to defend the position of the But I'm saying Commission. the political parties I'm work saying in that, concert with but them. But I'm saying that. So there's a platform mm. for, the, the, for the political parties to advocate. There's a, uh, there's a platform to canvas. Mm. And when they do canvas, at the end of the day, the body responsible for making the decision is the Electoral Commission, okay. the commissioners. And so whatever decision they make, mm. we all must be able and prepared to abide by it. If we do not do that, we'll be running a chaotic situation. And that's why I'm not surprised. Since last night, I've heard audio mm. of uh, the uh, director of elections of oh, the NDC. Okay. Uh, Say free Ankara. Yes. Okay. And, 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 and some of the things that are on the audio 
for me, they are just incredible. I was scandalized listening to the audio that we want to turn this country upside down, bring it to a standstill, that something happened in Nigeria as to whether it is even, it's even true or not, without, without regard to uh, uh, diplomacy, without regard to the sovereignty of any uh, another country. Such far-reaching comments from a leading figure of a major opposition, uh, a major political party like the NDC were, were uttered and they are now captured on tape. And, and so on and so forth. I'm saying that to prevent all of this problem, mm. it is not for the MPP to defend the position or for the MPP to, uh, uh, or for the NDC to advance a position on, on, on air, on TV. The platforms of engagement have been created. This is an electoral commission that has come and has mm. been engaging. The, the majority has, leader's statement is, is a position, don't you think? Well, he, I, he leads your side in parliament. And if he makes that statement that, well, uh, the NDC is scared because they would they would not win any election if the, the new race. Well, I don't find that. I think I find that as a reaction to the positioning of the NDC. Okay. But I'm saying that even me here, I am not prepared to engage the NDC. Okay. Because right. the NDC has not been mandated with the power to organize elections in this country. Okay. So they cannot take upon themselves powers that they do not have. Right. At best, they can speak their mind, they can canvass their position, and they can advocate. And when they are able to convince the commissioners that, okay, and the, uh, the commissioners mm -hmm. see that, okay, uh, better argumentation has been adduced, okay. then they can change their position or otherwise. Okay. But to insist that mm -hmm. what they claim should, should happen is what should happen mm -hmm. will be akin to them determining the elections. They can, then they see, uh, when, they, when they are successful with mm -hmm. doing this, then they can decide to say that, well, you, declare you, that we have won the election. You remember that in the run-up to the 2016 election, Dr. Balmia came up with a litany of uh, names yes. supposed to be from the, the, the Republic of Togo yes. that have been sneaked into it. Yes. It was that same register yes. that is supposed to have been bloated. Yes which brought your government into power, yes. subsequently used to create 16 new regions and all of That's that. Right. Does the vice president, do you know, and I'm asking, do you know if the vice president still stands by this list of people? There's 75,000. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Does yes. he still stand by it? I was involved it? in the process, yes, we stand by it. But the point is... So that, don't you think that no, then... but that's why I'm saying that. Even when we advocated, when we, when we lobbied and canvassed our position that the register was faulty, mm -hmm. the Electoral Commission took a position. What did we do? We agreed and confirmed and, and, and allowed the system to work. We didn't go and, uh, you had the tape, we didn't go about promising that the country would turn upside down and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, we were very robust in our advocacy and so okay. on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But when the Electoral Commission took the decision, we were compelled to go by the, the, the Electoral Commission's position. The NDC cannot do the, uh, uh, any other thing but that. Okay. They can advocate, they can, uh, they can converse. Thank you. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Johnny, between the Electoral Commission, the MPP, and the NDC, and all other political parties, the body that is mandated to run our elections, mm. and that includes compilation of a new register or not, is the Electoral Commission. They okay. must be allowed to do their work. Okay. Bella is here. Uh, Council, let me, let me quickly go to Bella and come to you. That's fine. Uh, apologies. Yes, Bella, please. All right. So we're checking out what people are saying on social media. And this one says... And for the first time in Ghana's political history, Dr. Baumia never mentioned the city when addressing the NPP followers at their Congress. History and the reality is indeed judging John Mahama right on daily basis. I thought he talked about the city yesterday. Yeah. He did. Exactly. Okay. Talk about depreciation so, and all of that. Exactly. So let me just move to this one. Analog thinkers ruling a digitized society. Four more years for Nana will be dangerous for Ghana. Hashtag the old man must go. This is Amadou from Tamale. And good morning, Johnny. Did Dr. Baumia say they, they have stabilized the economy? People are losing jobs. And you're saying better economy. Joker, this is Fraser Ayim from Achimota. Okay. And this one says, good morning to you and your panelists. You know, as for politics, it's like that. Every party will come with his own vision and plans. But all is just to build our nation. Ghanaians should judge for themselves who should come in the year 2020. I think every party is doing their best, but just at... The chop chop, okay, so the chop chop is becoming too much from Samo Suga in the Volta region. Good morning, Pius. It is of no doubt that this government has excellently managed the economy to the expectations of the citizens for which they deserve another term. This is Abdul Mumin Wunam from Tamale. And finally, how can Dr. Bamiya claim to have stabilized the economy when the dollar continues to overspeed while hardship continues in every sector of the economy? And that's Shaggy from Nima. Okay, Shaggy it. from Nima, interesting. Yeah. Uh, Council, step in for me. I think, I think the, the register, yes. are, you, are you 
pulling the electoral commission's hair and, with, and neck and legs unnecessarily? You know, with speed and purpose. I cannot for a minute justify how in God's name we are going to use close to 700 million Ghana cities just to compile a register that from the electoral commission's own math is credible. Now, remember this. If you look at the constitutional provision, Article 42 and Article 45, which empowers the electoral commission mm -hmm. to compile a register and at such intervals, revise it. If you put that constitutional provision with 42 on the right to vote, you will notice that the right to vote deals with only three qualifications. Citizenship, age, and then sound mind. And for age, it should be 18 and above. Right. And so in measuring the credibility of any register, these are the three benchmarks. Right. Are there persons on the register who are less than 18? If they are, it makes the register not credible. If they are foreigners on the register, it makes the register not credible. If there are persons who are of not sound mind on the register, the constitutional if there are multiple registrations Please, hold on. is not credible. Hold on, hold on. If there are multiple hold registrations, it's credible. Can, can I speak? To you? Allow him, allow him. No, there are serious limitations you, you, to you, this. You, 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 you note that mm. these three constitutional criteria is what you measure every register it, with. It's never correct. Hold on. It's not correct. Can it's I, not correct. Can I proceed? There are standard benchmarks. You I, cannot create I, I, your I own. I permitted you. I am saying that. Article 42 that those are not the of the 1992 benchmarks. Constitution says that to qualify to be registered as a voter, right. you need to be a citizen. You need to be 18 years and above, mm. and you need to be of sound mind. Who checks that? Sound mind. I mean, that one, okay. we've all taken it that I am of sound mind. If you huh? say I am not, if you say I'm not, the burden is on you to prove, to that, prove that I am not of that sound mind. This but but you, you see, hold on, hold on. It's problematic. But you see, the Constitution, in the superior wisdom of the Freemen, they knew of this constitutional qualification. Now, the Electoral Commission, as at last week Friday, mm. they appeared before the Special Budget Committee of yeah. Parliament, Jane Mensah and Bosman mm. Asari and her team, to justify the budget they are asking for. And from her own mouth, mm. when the question was put to her, she told the, uh, the committee, that the, 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 the register as we find it now is credible. Right. And that was even a few days to the limit. Uh, 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 the local the, level the, elections. Absolutely. Right. Now, Jane Mensah, who today, through Bosman Asari, for us, we believe that they are only going according to the MPP playbook. How do you, how do you say that? That's, that's a dangerous no, thing to no, say. No, because, because the very reason, and in fact, Jane Mensah Bonsu yesterday gave them up. His comment yesterday is even more dangerous. Now, when you say that the only way MPP can be retained is to have a new register. No. Hold no, on, please. Are, no. That's the reverse. No, no, no. That's the no, reverse no, no, of his. No, no. This no, is reverse. Be, be, be fair. No, be fair to him. No, I mean, the man is, says that. Is that your inference? No, the man says that. No, the man says that. Oh, can you listen? Pais Alabi. Is that your inference of what the Honorable Man said? But you proceeded as though that's what he said. You said when somebody said this, no, no, no. Pies, you were pies, wearing pies, a straight face. Pies, allow him. The man says, the man wearing says, a straight face oh, and lie. He said it's inference. It's cleared it now. It's inference. The man says that with a new register, NDC will not win. Did he say that? Did he say that? Progress. Make progress. So when a man so you makes that's what he said, and then you tend it. When up. a man says that, what's the logical conclusion? That the only way to keep the MPP. Is to change the register. No, it, because but we beat no, you with the no, old register. Absolutely. And so what is, is, we beat on, you with the old register. That is why we are saying that within the spirit of fairness, mm. this particular register, we have used it to create six new regions never happened under the 1992 constitution. The president applauded James for it. We use it for the year also by election. Mm. Say for the national security intervention. Would have been a good election. Then, just on the 17th of December, we use it for the district level election, which the MPP claim the majority of the assembly members won. You understand? So when you have this kind of arrangement, mm -hmm. in one breath, you say, no, the register is good. 
the product of that register is good, including Anado Danko Ekufado, who is the president, including Chairman Sabo, who but, but, is the majority but, 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 leader. But, 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 Eduji, Eduji, so as we speak, the Electoral Commission says, look, we need to upgrade the register. We're bringing Absolutely. facial, so I'm facial recognition I'm there. because the system we have now is obsolete. Can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question? What's your difficulty with that? Can I ask you a question? No, I don't answer questions good. here. If your phone here, if it's Windows, oh. win Windows had a particular software, mm. right? Mm -hmm. If that software has a problem, what do you do? You upgrade it. Do you throw the phone away? Yeah, when the cost of upgrade, please, please, when please, the please. cost of upgrade is as we is, speak, is, is cheaper, so when James uh, appeared sense oh, to buy a new phone. When James appeared before the special mm. budget committee, one of the issues that came out was this. What is the cost of upgrading the software? Moot. So if you have a situation where the MPP, and, and he talks about Elvis, why? The 1992 Constitution, and incidentally, the MPP went to Supreme Court on the question of the right to demonstrate. Mm. So when someone says that at the end of the day, among the legal options open to the NDC, is the fact that we can get to the streets. How in God's name can a president... Are you not worried a, about how it was said? No, a party led by Nana Dudanko Ekufuado. You recall his infamous all die be die statement. After the Etiwa by election, he is even president. And you want to talk about Elvis? When he said that the only option legally mm. available to the NDC is to get to the street. Well, that's okay. The man I, never uh, said they, anything they, they, on the, law. The budget, the budget for the new register has but been you approved. Know, but, you been know, approved. So no, but you know, you are, you are you know the beautiful can we thing. Get to, can we get to the meat of the thing? The, well, the, do you I know mean, the comparison? Hold on. The beautiful that thing. That the MPP has performed that? better yeah. than you the NDC. We got you to know our time is up. No, hold on. Do you know that facial recognition? I thought we ended at 8.30. We started at 7.30. No, we didn't start at 7.30. No, we didn't. No, hold on. Hold on. I think today you took our time. You know this so-called software they The time is ours, so we give you some. I agree. The facial whatever they claim. Mm. Do you know it cannot detect citizenship? Do you know it cannot detect who a minor is? Mm. Do you know it cannot detect a person who is of our sound mind? So this thing is just complimentary. You cannot destroy a whole register. Look. Whose credibility Johnny. is okay. not in okay. doubt. Johnny. To create the impression that. To spend that, 700 to million. We, we gotta Look, go fight. Right, right, today as we speak, allow, 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 allow. today as we speak, our brothers and sisters, teachers and others, mm. they are all talking. They want money. But how, how is that connected to No, but if stuff? you have 700 million Ghana cities mm. Mm. of taxpayers' money to expend, rank your priority. Well, is this it's, one it's been approved well, already, well, so... I'm, no, I'm, so I'm, it tells you that this administration... Okay. I am rather scandalized. The thing that they are the using NDC, our money for... The thinking of terrible. the NDC mm. is that because the president controls budget... Mm. They see it as a weapon, as a tool mm. of control of the Electoral Commission. If this is the alternative that they are promising, mm. that when they come and they are governing this country, okay. they will micromanage the Electoral Commission that's one by controlling... Okay, but thank you. Thank you. Because that's what you're saying. Fires is the Honorable uh, Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana and... A Duji Tamaklo is a legal practitioner. He's been here on the ticket of the NDC as well. Gentlemen, 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 thank you very much. Pius, ye yesterday, Pius, yesterday, Divine, Divine says, fellow patriots, we will soon be entering into 2020. There are some attitudes that we should not take into 2020. I will mention briefly. Uh, your, your, your greater Accra regional chairman says, there's a Didija. Is there a Didija in your party? No, I'm saying that. Okay. You're not ready to answer.